Hi, it's Daphne. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my July TBR. I'm gonna be going through these books in the order that I'm prioritizing them. I'm a mood reader, so there's no guarantee that I'll get to all of them, but these are the books that I'm excited about right now. The first book I'm gonna talk about, I'm already reading. I'm almost halfway through. This is A Scandal in Spring by Lisa Kleypas. She's like a very well-known historical romance author. This is the fourth book in the Wallflowers series and the final book in the series, so I'm excited to finish this off. I did read the first three and had like a decent time. I wouldn't say they're like the steamiest historical romances I've read. Lisa Kleypas, I know, is some people's like top historical romance author, but she's not like a favorite of mine, but I've been in this series for a while and I'm, and I'm excited to see how the final wallflower like gets her happy ending. So this book is about Daisy. She's the final wallflower. She has been trying to find a husband for the last two seasons. She's an American. Her father wants her to like get into the British peerage so he can have some status when he goes back to America. Uh, unfortunately, she hasn't been able to find a husband. So her father has given her an ultimatum that if in the next two months, she can't land herself a husband. He's gonna make her marry this guy that he's picked. It's a man that he works with and he wants to hand off his business to this guy. She knows that man, his name is Matthew Swift. She knew him from a while back and never really liked him. She thought he was kind of stuffy and too serious where she's more, has her head in the clouds, loves reading books and things like that. So it's their romance. I'm enjoying it so far. We'll see how it goes. It's giving like three star vibes right now, but I'm definitely gonna finish this soon, um, probably tomorrow, and yeah, so it's on my TBR. And then I also started another book. This is The Company of Fiends. It's the second book in the Tempting Monster series by Catherine Moon. The first book was A Lady of Rook's Grave Manor, which was really floating around booktube for a while, and I thought the second book was going to continue that same harem group, so I wasn't that interested, but then I recently found out it's like a whole nother heroine, so I'm intrigued. So this heroine, her name is Hazel. She works in the theater. It's like a sex theater where they do these performances with human women and monsters um, so that the monsters can come and enjoy. The monsters in this world are very hidden. Like humans don't typically know about them unless for whatever reason they like get introduced to like this monster underworld. It's the same universe. Like it's not like an alternate reality. Hazel is only half human. She has her, what is her mother? I don't remember what it is. Some kind of like woodland something something, I don't know. But it makes her like heal faster and it's stronger or like things like that than the average human. It makes her also a good pair for different kinds of monsters that visit the theater and work with her and just want to interact with her. So I'm intrigued by that. It's going to be a reverse harem as well. It's just going to be a good fun time. I'll probably read it slowly over the month. Then I'm excited to get to Glow. This is the fourth book in the Plated Prisoner series by Raven Kennedy. I've really been enjoying the series. It's very like slow burn with the romance, I guess you could say. I definitely wouldn't recommend getting into the guild and like that whole this whole series if you're thinking it's going to be pure romance, steamy romance, whatever. There is a lot of plot with our heroine, Oren, and her story, and I'm really enjoying it. Obviously, if there wasn't a romance, I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much because for me, it's like a good motivator. But at the same time, her plot is so intriguing and her power that's evolving is so interesting. So if you don't know, Guild, which is the first book, um, is about Oren, who is completely gilded in gold. She is the prized pet of King of Midas and he has the power whenever he touches anything. If he wants to, he can turn it gold. That's like what he's known for. He keeps her in a gilded cage. She's like in love with him, but he's a jerk. And there's this other guy that's gonna come into the story. Obviously it's fantasy. So there's like a lot of magical things that become revealed to us. There's like a war on the horizon. And yeah, I'm really interested to see where this fourth book goes. I'm really interested because also at the end of the third book, something very traumatic and dramatic, traumatic and dramatic happened. Oren has been like really hurt, but also her power is getting so much stronger, like her physical magical power. And I just wanna know where it goes from there. And I just really hope she's gonna like overcome this traumatic physical thing that happened to her. Um, it's not sexual, but yeah, it's a big deal. 
like a big deal for her identity. So yeah, I'm like, I was like devastated at the end of the third book. So I'm hoping the fourth one is really good as well. But yeah, you definitely have to go into that series with the right expectations. Otherwise you're gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> and then the next book I'm prioritizing is The Cartographers by Pong Shepard. I've been sleeping on this book for a while, but I got a lovely comment from Brittany saying that she really enjoyed this book. So it made me more excited to get to it. So I'm gonna put this on my TBR. This book is about a woman who works with maps, I believe, and her father was like a really, he was really into maps as well, aka the cartographers. He worked, I think, in the New York Public Library, like in the archives area, and one day he turns up dead. He's like found next to this really innocuous map of like a gas station or whatever, and it kind of takes her off on this adventure to like figure out what happened, I believe. And supposedly there's fantasy elements going on in here and I have no idea what to expect when it comes to that because for a book that's about maps, I'm like, how does the fantasy tie in? So that intrigues me more. And Brittany said that the fantasy aspect was really interesting. And yeah, so that made me excited to get to this. So I've added it to my TBR. And then I also wanna get to this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This is a pretty well-known non-fiction like self-help book. I don't know if I will finish it this month, but I definitely want to start it this month and just see what I can take away from it. I wanna improve my self-awareness when it comes to meeting new people and networking and maintaining relationships. Just have that kind of like nuanced skill. My fiance Chase is very good at that kind of stuff just naturally and he listened to the audiobook of this a while back and agreed with a lot of the things that were said in this book and a lot of the things that he was just doing without thinking about it. So it's good to see that the points made in this book actually work because he's a very social guy. He makes a lot of new friends. He's good at maintaining relationships and things like that um, for the most part. So if he said it made a lot of sense and, and he enjoyed it and thought the input was good, I think I could definitely take away a lot from this book because that's not something, when it comes to social stuff, it's not something I'm naturally gifted at. I think I'm a good person. <laughs> this is like, oh, can you not make friends? Like I can make friends. I'm just not the best. I'm just shy. I'm shy and I wanna like improve my skill. I'm gonna start this in July. And then a soft pick I'm putting on my TBR is Everything I Never Told You. This is something I'm not like super interested in per se, but I'm trying to branch out at work and not just interact with the people who are on my project and just meet new people, meet new women, meet new people of color. So I signed up for an ERG, which it's like a company term for like a group, like a social group. And this particular one is for women at my company and they're doing a book club at the end of the month. I think it's the book club event is gonna be on the 27th of July. So I took this book out from my library. I got the physical book and the audio book to help me, you know, just be motivated to read it um, quickly. <laughs> so I can attend that event and participate in the discussion. Crossing my fingers, I enjoy it and you know get to it in time so I can attend the event. And I also hope the event isn't in the middle of the day and gonna conflict with my other work meetings. Otherwise, I won't be able to attend, which would suck. And I really wanna meet some new people at the company and, and network, but also <laughs> for the same reasons I need that other book, like just meet new people and enjoy meeting new people, you know, so. I don't know that much about the plot for this book. I'm pretty sure it's a mystery. I think one of the children in this family turns up dead and they're trying to figure out what happened, but that could be completely wrong. <laughs> and then the next two books I'm gonna put on my TBR because they've been on here for a long time. I got them used, so I got them really cheap for like a dollar or two. The first one is Tender is the Touch. This is a historical romance about a heroine that for whatever reason wants to go to Alaska. This is back in like the 1880s. And this man who's like an adventurer who's hiring someone to help him and he hires her not realizing she's a woman. So it's like them adventuring in Alaska for whatever reason, I don't really know. It's got like the classic clench cover. So I'm gonna give this a try this month and if I don't like it, I'll just DNF and then I can unhaul. It's been sitting on my shelf for a while, so I'm ready to like actively do something about it. And then that's the same kind of case with this one. This is Deadly Rumors. This one is about two black investigators in the FBI, or an investigator, Zoe, and an FBI agent, Carver. Obviously some kind of case going on and they have some chemistry or whatever, it's a romance. 
This has been on my TBR for a really long time. This was one of the first books I picked up when I wanted to prioritize black love. So I was excited to find this, but I'm just not super intrigued by like crime books. I've never read a crime romance book, so I haven't been pressed to pick it up, but I've had it for so long. I just want to get it off my TBR. So I'm going to attempt this book as well. And if I don't like it, I'll just DNF like this other one, like the other one and unhaul or I'll really enjoy it and be happy I finally got around to reading it. So those are all the books I have on my July TBR that I hope to get to at some point. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in another video. Bye.